This is John. Uh, guys, we are in the very last days. Jesus is getting ready to come back any moment. Uh, I truly believe that with all my heart. Our Bibles are being changed. We're in the time of the great deception. Uh, also, this is the time of the great apostasy. The falling away from the faith. Falling away from the, the true word of God and, and the faith. They're falling away from faith because they're following a false uh, gospel. A lot of it has been changed, our Bible, supernaturally. And uh, some of it's still intact, but a huge part of the Bible has been changed. I mean, a huge part. And in this time, we uh, it's still good to read your Bibles, try to record. You know, the Lord told us to uh, uh, record as much His Word to our hearts as You know, how to uh, record His Word to our hearts. And I see why now for a time, the time we're in, and so uh, the rest of the Bible that is intact, I would recommend highly that we read, everybody be reading what is intact and recording it to our hearts before it's changed, but if you have uh, the Holy Spirit that leads to all truth, and you should see these changes, uh, and you uh, could also watch my videos, and uh, EYA videos, EYA extends extol Yeshua always, and they'll show you the Bible changes. She especially, EYA, uh, that's Kat, K-A-T, I think is the name of the lady, and she's dedicated her a lot of her time to going and showing you the Bible changes, so I highly recommend her channel, EYA. She's really good at showing you the Bible changes, lots of them. She's got tons of videos. She spent a lot of time on making them. And I think she's doing a good service for the Lord to show people this great deception. I'm trying to do my part. I try to show Bible changes to it or talk about even on the videos that don't that don't say it's nothing about the great deception or Bible changes. I also try to show uh, or try to tell people that our Bibles are being changed. Probably by the large Hadron Collider, the guy holds the sign of says Mandela Effect, one of the scientists, and that's what it's called, the Mandela Effect. It's changing not only the Bibles, whenever they're changing the Bibles, I think it's changing lots of other things. Uh, land masses have changed. The Statue of Liberty has moved from one island to another island. Our bodies are changing. Uh, we have a black circle around the color part of our eyes now. All kinds of changes uh, to uh, name brand stuff. Car logo, the, the, the car uh, symbols, what they, you know, like a Ford symbol has got a little curly tail like a thing on the F now. The line that goes across the ways, it used to be straight, now it's got a curly tail tell on it and I, all this just huge numbers of changes boxes cereals they are, di are different at the grocery store uh, if you have uh, eyes see and ears to hear and the holy spirit that leads you to all truth and that gives you discernment and uh, knowledge pray for knowledge and discernment through the holy spirit first make sure you're saved uh, but jesus if you're not saved please get saved ask jesus save you and uh, turn your life over to him and tell him you want to make him your god your lord and savior over your life and then first repent of your sins and ask him to forgive you of your sins and then ask him to feed you with the Holy Spirit once you get saved. And then uh, from that moment on, you need to repent of your sins and try to turn from your known sins and repent of your sins when you do sin. And uh, try to live as righteously as we can and repent when we do sin. We're all going to sin. We all fall short of the glory of God, but we need to try to, you know, turn away from our sins as much as possible, our known sins. And... Uh, Pray that Jesus fills you with his righteousness, as the Bible says. And then pray for discernment through the Holy Spirit that leads you to all truth. And pray for um, knowledge and uh, pray for eyes to see and ears to hear Bible changes. I want to read you some, uh, before I get started on the video, uh, I want to read you some uh, verses that has to do with this. Also, they may be using the quantum computers and the Large Hadron Collider at CERN has. That's going to, the CERN's Large Hadron Collider is going to be what they open the pits of hell with. The Bible talks about the angel comes down with a key to the bottom of the pit. I showed you in the video about they had a, a key that said LHC for Large Hadron Collider showing that they're going to use that to open the pits of hell with. It's right there where the old time, uh, supposedly the gates of hell is located. They built it on top of that. Stop building it to uh, excavate that site where the so-called something, something like an old time gates of hell uh, um, I don't know what they called it, but they had to stop building it. They had to dig three. It was put 300 foot underground. This large hadron collider is 17 miles around long. 
the uh, particles together uh, at speed of light or even faster. Or speed of light, I guess speed of light is up to the speed of light. And, uh, and they can destroy the whole universe. It may be what destroys, would destroy the universe, but if the Lord hadn't, uh, before the elect, elect sake, uh, Jesus stopped, uh, uh, stopped it from happening from destroying the universe because it says in the Bible he, for the elect's sake he stops it from that's probably and even those um, scientists like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and that, uh, Stephen Hawking said that if they wanted to destroy the war, uh, universe that would be the best way to do it they was talking about that so it's a really uh, it's it does opens portals all the time that you can see above CERN's large hadron collider there in Switzerland it's on the border of Switzerland France I believe if and it's, uh, they open portals all the time, and demonic beings come through all the time. So, but uh, uh, it's, it does all kinds of things. I reckon they can go back in time and do things, even mess with maybe how they're doing the Bible changes. And then quantum computers, and that is a lot, it's fallen angel technology. God's word, true word, will never change. You know, the Bible can be burnt, torn, shredded, and uh, obviously it can be changed by this, supernaturally changed. Uh, but now... The true word of God is spiritual. That's a physical book, a Bible. The true word of God is spiritual. It's in Jesus. His true word is, the Jesus is the true word. It says of God, I mean, is, is the word of God. And uh, it's in Jesus. The true word of the Lord Jesus and God Yahweh is in Jesus and God Yahweh in heaven. And then the Holy Spirit that's in uh, true Holy Spirit filled Christians that leads us, that's why it leads us, he leads us to all truth. If you have the Holy Spirit, he's going to lead you to all truth. But let me go ahead and read these. Uh, Psalm one nineteen eleven, Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Second Corinthians four four, and whom the God of this world, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Read that. Second uh, Corinthians four four. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, walk by faith, not by sight. Most people are just walking by sight and seeing the Bible and not walking by faith to see the changes. 2 Corinthians 4, 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Do you hear uh, the Lord's voice and know when uh, a strange, we don't supposed to follow a strange shepherd, we follow the true shepherd Jesus Christ, it says in the Bible. So are you following a strange shepherd's voice? When some strange shepherd walks in and the Bible's been changed, do you notice it? Do you still follow, follow the false shepherd or do you only follow the true shepherd Jesus and know his voice and uh, do you hear only his voice and know his voice and know when it's a stranger that stepped in his place to deceive you? First Thessalonians four, chapter uh, chapter four, uh, sixteen through eighteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Uh, you know, the Lord is getting ready to come back any moment for the rapture. Make sure you're right with you. You don't want to be left behind for the three and a half to seven years of pure hell on earth. What's coming? All right, let me go ahead and start this video. And I want to give credit to True Shock TV. I've been using different parts here and there of different parts of his videos. And the only thing I don't like uh, about it, he's an awesome video maker of, and does a great service for the Lord, but he does. Put some nasty content sometimes. I hate to say it in his video, so I'd have to take those out. I don't, I don't want to put nothing nasty, but he's, I mean, I'm not putting him down because uh, everybody's different, but he's an awesome video maker. I mean, that's why I used his videos, and he, he seems to be doing a good thing for the Lord, except for the parts about the nasty stuff. I didn't want to use that, so I have to, you know, block those out. Uh, let me go ahead and start it. I love you guys, and uh, thanks to True Shop TV to watch his videos. He's got some good videos, True Shock TV, but they are a little bit uh, bad imagery, and some of them I have to admit, so be careful about that. I use discernment. Uh, 
I would recommend uh, um, fast forwarding or something or high, not watching those parts. I take them out when I when I put any of my videos. I try to take out any bad things that's in videos. Uh, I'm I'm not perfect, but I make mistakes too. I'm no better than he is. I'm a sinner, as bad as he is, maybe worse. I mean, I'm not saying he's a sinner. I'm saying I'm a sinner. So, I right, let me go ahead and start it. Luke 17:31. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house. It certainly did not say stuff. It did not. What if you could go back in time? Think of it like a movie. You can pause, rewind, or slow down. Luke 19.23 Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. Into the, the bank? bank? What day is it? The date is wrong. What year? They did not have banks back then. How are you doing this? <laughs> Something is going on. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles. This Bible right here that I have read for all these years did not, did not, did not say bottles. Wake, Wake up. up. This is 1830. That's 175, 85 years old. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. Uh, given back in November 1966. Uh, it's an old, just one of these old family Bibles, you know. Now I want to show you something. This is an old King James Bible. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. It said wine skins. It didn't say bottles. It didn't say. It didn't say bottles. What the hell's going on? <laughs> All right. Let me go and start this other one. Make sure it's on the right place. All right. Now, you know, I, I'm just hoping that some of the stuff is sinking in you guys. And I, of course, keep reading your scriptures, keep praying, rely on the Holy Spirit. I also have my own little theory. You know, this is only my, my opinion now. Don't get upset me by, by me saying this. But I believe the ones who have been sealed by the Holy Spirit of truth are remembering things the way they were. And I believe those who might not be are not remembering. Now, uh, maybe some of you do remember, but you put it off to fear and you say, well, um, you know, oh, this kind of scares you and you're so worried about what I think about you. Or even too, you might be, be just scared that you're wrong. And that's understandable. That's understandable. But brothers and sisters, we are not made to fear. God did not create us like this. Jesus, Jesus told me to keep telling people about the Bible changes, so that's why I made these three videos, like in part one, part two, and part three. Uh, I want to keep, I want to do what the Lord tells me to do. And he told me to keep telling people about the Bible changes, so that's what I want to do. This is the third part, probably the last part on these part one, part two, and part three. Great deception Bible changes. I want to do more on them, of course, if, you know, unless we get taken in the rapture uh, or what have you, but. Uh, I don't know if I got, I need to get caught up on also the events going on to show people where you are in the last days that don't believe it as well to try to get them to come to Jesus so they might get saved by Jesus. 
so they can go with him in the rapture. Before the rapture happens, hopefully they can come to Jesus and get saved. But I also want to do my part. The Lord told me to keep telling people about the Bible changes, so that's what I'm doing. Like I said, even in my videos, I don't show about the Bible changes. I try to most time tell about, uh, about the Bible's being changed supernaturally. All right, start back, guys. Sorry about that. I'll start it back. Surrender to him completely and fully and let the Holy Spirit fill you and seal you with his, his truth and and I love all of you very much, you know. This is not something to divide over, to get mad about. This is a time of unity. We need, need to unite together right now more than we ever have. Behold, the days are coming, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord that shall wander from the sea to sea from north to east they shall run to and fro seeking the word of the lord but shall not be able to find it how does people see that and still not believe the word has been changed if they hear that verse there just by itself there's other verses too that says the bible would be changed and they'd be listening to doctrines of devils in the last days and all this other stuff uh, if they hear this how do they not know i mean because there's no way they could take up every bible if they're looking for the Word of God and can't find it, they had to do change the Word of God just like they said they was going to do in 1969 when that guy told what they talked about, that Planned Parenthood uh, guy uh, from 1969. That he was a mouthpiece for Satan, and he told them they was going to change the Bible a little bit at a time, and he said most people uh, wouldn't even notice. And they said, what about churches? Will they stand for it? And he said, oh, the churches will help. And that's what they're doing. Even you, If you're in a silent about the changes you don't you don't see the changes you're silent about it then really you're helping helping them just like you said though know, the church would help and especially these preachers and stuff that put people down to say the bible's changed when it has changed and they're blinded but don't see the changes uh so he also said uh they said he said uh there would be very few people that see the changes and he said they uh those people uh will be so few it, it won't matter and he said, since churches are all going to stand up and take up for them and, and, and be silent about it, the changes. And either they don't know or they're scared to come out and tell people, afraid to be made fun of like we are. I, I get put down all the time by my family and everybody else for saying the Bible change by preachers. I can't. I will, if I was to go back to the church I used to go to now because I told them the Bible change, they probably would uh, do a sermon on the right front of the church, front of everybody, or keep me out of the church. I had to quit going to the church because after I told them the Bible changed, which I was going to get out of it anyways. Cause I think the Lord's pulling us out of the churches. Uh, there's so much uh, things they're doing and uh, wrong. Well, they're preaching false preaching now because the Bible's been changed. I think He wants us to spend time with Him alone, let Him uh, teach us right now. And I'm not saying for everybody to get out of church. It's something you need to pray about to the Lord. I prayed about it. I feel like he didn't want me in church. And he sometimes heard a lot of people say that too. And, but I'm not saying, I'm saying you take the Lord in prayer before you decide to do that, please. I'll start it back, guys. To put their hands on the arc of history and bend it once more toward 
the hope of a better day. I mean, I was going to get out of church anyways because uh, I felt like the Lord was pulling me out of church. But, uh, and I don't want to, I don't want to go there. And also, even if he didn't say something, I'd be probably stand up oh, every time they read a false doctrine and say, that's not right. I didn't supposed to say this. And then I would probably get to get to the church for sure. And then it's like hard to hold back when I hear the false preaching. And then they want you to read verse from the Bible. And I couldn't read the verses that's been changed unless I said it the right way. And they, they wouldn't go for all that guys. All right. I'm sorry. Let me start it back. Cause they don't believe in none of that stuff. He matter of fact, the preacher told my wife I would be. I think he told her I was going to hell unless I uh, repented for saying the Bible changed. But the Bible has changed, and uh, he just don't see it. He's the one blinded, but they say that we're the ones blinded because we see the changes. But we're seeing the truth that the Bible has changed, and they're the ones that's deceived. There's been such strong delusion or whatever, or just don't see it because they don't see the Bible changes. <laughs> And I pray all the time that they do see the changes to the Bible. I've been praying for that preacher and all of them to see the changes. I want them to see the changes. I've been working on my dad real hard trying to get him to see the changes. He, he, he was making fun of me like crazy. Uh, but me, you know, not really making fun, just didn't put me down for saying it changed stuff. But he almost was coming around a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know if I can get him to see him. Like that guy said, you can't get some people to see it. I don't care what you do. He said, if they're changing the Bible, he said, that's, uh, that's unbelievable. But I, he did say that the other day. I couldn't believe he said that, but I still don't believe he believes it. He said, every time he tells that one preacher that, the Bible, that I said the Bible changed, he just laughs and walks off. And I said, well, that preacher's been sent the strong delusion murder. You just don't see it. I said, a lot of preachers got pride, like that one guy said in one of my part, video, part one or two or three videos, part one or two videos. And God it says in the Bible that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. A lot of preachers have pride like that, you know, feel like they know everything. See the Mandela sign down there, Mandela effect. That shows, that's a CERN, Lord Trader and Fighter, that scientist showing that they was going to create the Mandela effect that's changing all these things, the Bible and all kinds of other things in our reality. I mean, they're showing it right in her face. My mom, my wife, everybody puts me down saying the Bible changes. They don't believe it. Nobody around here sees the changes. Nobody. I don't care who I've told them. I recall this one card from the Illuminati card game. It's called, of course, Rewriting History. And it states here, any one alignment of any destroyed group may be retroactively added, removed, or reversed. And it says, History of the World. And of course, it's in a trash can. Now, let's take a look at this door here. And I find this pretty interesting. And as I've stated many times, Satanists work on the law of reversal on opposites. Now, let's reverse this card here and see what this door says. It says, Ministry of Truth. And again, with the history books in the garbage can. And this is like a lab where they're rewriting history. Sorry, guys. Reported late last year by Paul Baldwin with the Express, and he reported that scientists actually conducted a mind-bending experiment at the Large Haldron Collider, and their hope was to connect with a parallel universe outside of our own. The article states here that the staggeringly complex LHC Atom Smasher at the CERN Center in Geneva, Switzerland, will be fired up to its highest energy levels ever in a bid to detect or even create miniature black holes. A lot of people have been reporting on CERN, uh, pretty much putting them out there and saying what they're doing, and now they confirm what they're doing. They tell us openly that they want to find an extra dimension, and what's going to come out of this abyss? Well, the same uh, creatures that God tied up in there, the fallen angels, Satan himself, you know, demons, they're all hidden in there. They're separated from us, and these scientists are attempting to make contact with them. They're going to make contact with this universe. So this is a very important and interesting thing to note. 
because we don't know what we're going to start seeing here in the next few years. There's a good article from the Toronto Star. This is actually back from 2009, and it quotes uh, the director of CERN. His name is Sergio uh, Bertolucci, and he is openly saying that you know they're trying to open a door. Okay, a door, you know, with this machine, which I believe is a spiritually you know, dimensional portal, portal kind of door. And it says out of this door might come something or we might send something into it. But, you know, I really don't believe that this man and the scientists at this place even really know what they are messing with here. I really believe they're trying to tamper with something that, that mankind is just not supposed to be tampering with. And I believe it's definitely going to bring much destruction upon this earth. This place, CERN. You know, in Switzerland, you know, we know that the machine is huge. It's a 27-kilometer in diameter machine. Okay, it's made up of many parts. And what's real interesting is I found out from Tom Horn, uh, who's done a lot of research on this stuff, is that he has said that this area in Geneva, Switzerland, where this machine was built, was actually known in ancient times as Apoliacum. Okay, there was a temple to the god Apollo, the Greek god Apollo, and we know that Apollo is actually the god of destruction in Greek mythology. Okay, and uh, he, uh, there was a temple erected to this, to this god, and apparently this particular area was known as the Gates of Hell. In that, in the ancient times, even in Jesus' times and the, and the New Testament times, uh, there's uh, a big statue of the Hindu god Shiva, you know, standing outside this building of CERN, you know, like their mascot. We can see that Shiva himself is standing literally in a circular uh, kind of uh, thing, which looks to be a portal. I mean, even, even the outside, it looks to be flames that are outside of this thing, like he's stepping through a ring of fire. Two of his four arms are holding open this, this dimensional doorway, and he's stepping out of it doing this cosmic dance that he does. So... Why is it that if these scientists believe only in science and they say they don't believe in religion, why, of course, is there a god, a pagan god, standing outside of this building, okay, if these people claim to be scientists? And what's even more interesting is that the wife of Shiva is Kali, and an image of Kali was projected onto the Empire State Building. Of which Those are false gods, of course, they're demons, and uh, there's only one true god, and that's Jesus Christ, the Son. God the, uh, God the Father, God Yahweh, there is one, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, there is one. That's the only true God. Those are, uh, those Shiva and, uh, you know, those demons are false gods, of course. Which I was, I found quite disturbing as, you know, America and Canada and North America should be, you know, was once considered a Christian part of the world, but really that they're projecting things like this onto their buildings, you know, I find that really sad. You know, why would they have, of all the pagan gods that are out there, why would they put a god that represents destruction? That, you know, if they were doing something good for humanity, okay, and his wife. There's a, I tell people all the time, I'll say, what lays down with the uh, lamb in the Bible in Isaiah 11, 6, Isaiah 11, 6, and almost everybody I asked them knew anything about the Bible said the lion, and then I say, well, uh, not anymore. It's been changed to uh, the the wolf, you know, like uh, Satan, the wolf in sheep's clothing, uh, is representing the Antichrist coming, the wolf laying down with the lamb. You know, Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, and uh, it's been changed to the wolf uh, is laying with the lamb now, and because the wolf represents Satan laying with the lamb, laying with the lamb, and. Uh, so whenever I tell them that, they say, oh, it's, it's somewhere else. I said, no, it ain't. Look it up on your computer, iPad, whatever, your phone. Uh, go look in your Bible. It's not in there anywhere no more. And they say, well, I must have just misremembered it then. People act strange. But now there was a, probably about three people that sort of sort of believed the Bible had been changed out of all the people I've told about it around here that was going to at least look into it. I don't know if they really be just, or maybe they was just being nice, but most everybody else acts so strange, like that guy said, like a glaze goes over their eyes, like your, like demons are stopping them from, they don't want to hear it, they get mad and everything else. Sorry guys, start back again, I'm sorry. Kali, if we do some, you know, quick research on her, she is the Hindu goddess of death, time and doomsday and is often associated with sexuality and violence but is also considered a strong mother figure okay so we can see that you know these in two gods you know uh, Shiva and Kali are definitely 
uh, not good things. I believe that they're definitely demonic. You know, if we look at, you know, other images of Kali, we see her, you know, holding a human head and her hand basically beheaded. She's, the blood is dripping from the head into a bowl. She's got in another one of her arms a sickle, which she probably used to kill the thing or kill the person. She's got a necklace of human heads around her neck. She's dancing literally over her own husband, Shiva. Okay, I've actually heard that she's actually stronger than her own husband and because she's so violent that she actually overpowers her own husband, Shiva, who is also a very strong, you know, considered the goddess of, or god of destruction. So these two together, you know, are doing, or according to Hindu religion, are very powerful and are quite destructive. Okay, so again, why is it that these are the depictions uh, that are shown at CERN. It doesn't make any sense as to uh, as to why they would be doing anything good at that place. I believe there's something definitely occultic going on. Uh, that that there's something uh, big about to happen in this world with regard to this you know machine, these experiments that they are doing. I really don't believe they even know what they are messing with. Okay, and if we you know, look at some of the movies that we have been you know uh, prone to see. For many years now, you know, some a lot of these things are have been great entertainment, but I really believe that we have been programmed as humans to accept these kinds of things, to accept time travel, to accept the breaking of time and space, to accept, you know, alternate realities. We saw this in the movie. So definitely humankind has been has been programmed for the That's the false god uh, Shiva, the god of destruction, or false god Shiva, the god of destruction, outside of CERN's large hadron collider showing that they're going to destroy, you know, a lot of Maybe the universe, unless you know, the Lord, the Lord's going to stop it for the elect's sake. It says, and they're going to open the pits of hell with this, with this thing. That's why they showed the key with the LAC on it. The angel comes down with the key to the bottomless pit. That's the key. That's the, the large hadron collider is the key because it's going to open the pits of hell, a portal to the pits of hell. There's a reason God's put a separation between the demons and man, but they're getting ready to open it and let them all. Uh, the demons, uh, all the hell come on the earth. You don't want to be here when that happens, guys. So please get right with Jesus so you don't have to go through. It's going to be when that, whenever the uh, great tribulation happens, it's going to be the worst time for man it ever has been and ever will be, it says in the Bible. It says So you don't want to be here for that. Please get right with Jesus. Get saved if you're not saved by Jesus Christ. And uh, repent of your sins. You have to get saved to make sure you repent of your sins and try to turn from your sins. I started back, guys. These kinds of things for a long time now. Well, that There's way you can go into the rapture in the 90s Jesus, called Stargate. You don't have to be left behind for what's the earth. You don't want to be here know, what's coming, guys. A kind of portal machine, you know, similar to what we saw even in the, and I saw in, this, in the latest Terminator movie again, you know, we saw even from the 80s and when the, when the first Terminator movie came out, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger came out of this circular portal that all of a sudden opened up and he came out of it from a different time from the future and he was able to step into 1984 and if we go to many other movies we'll see that there's that when it whenever it comes to something of time travel space travel something like this there's always some kind of CERN kind of device where they're where they're using it to step in and to walk into a different dimension okay and you know when we can all tie this back to the Bible in Revelation 9 it talks about the, you know the locusts from the bottomless pit and it says at the end you know when these locusts came out it says they had king over over them, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is Abaddon in Hebrew, but in Greek has the name Apollyon. Okay, so we know from scripture that this image of Shiva at CERN, okay, is the Hindu version of Apollo in the Greek religion, is the uh, Sumerian version of Nimrod, okay, from way back when, is the Egyptian version of, uh, of Isis and Horus and, and Osiris. So all these things are tying together. And then, of course, which also stands for Sernunos, the horn god. So we can see that there are definite parallels to the old cult with what they're doing at CERN. I do not believe it is going to be good for mankind and what they're doing. I believe they're trying to bring, uh, the elites are trying to bring their god into this world. That Antichrist is coming very soon, which means that we as Christians really need to get this information out to as many people as possible. They need to know what is coming. They need to know that destruction is coming to this world. You know, I'm not about to predict dates or tell you on this particular date that, you know, things are going to happen. All I know and I sense in my spirit that something big is about to happen. I'm going to say, oh, I may do a part four video on the Bible changes. Stay tuned. See, 
Uh, it may be this may be the last part uh, on the Bible changes of this at this point, then do more later. I may do a part four though, because I'm not going to put as many parts as I had set aside for this video uh, sections of videos and different videos that I was wanting to use in it. So I may do a part four. Uh, just uh, watch and see, guys, whether I do a part four or not. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me start back again. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean First Corinthians chapter 14, 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. John chapter 14, 15, 20. But first let me read 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to bring things into remembrance, and we have the Holy Spirit that lives within us. Be strong, everybody. We're in the last days. Things are changing fast. Changing fast. Put their hands on the ark of his ark of history. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I will not leave you comfortless, he says. Yet a little while the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. The Bible says that the heavens and earth shall pass away, but his word shall live on forever. The heaven and earth pass away, the Bibles are burned, meaning everything has passed away, but his word's going to live on forever. If my Bible fell into uh, the fire pit outside and some pages were burnt and stuff, the Word of God is still there. The Bible pages may be burned, they may be tainted, but the Word of God shall live on forever. It's a paper Bible. Then the Spirit, God's Word, shall live on forever. The Spirit, it will live on forever and ever and ever for all eternity. Stay close to the Lord. Pray. Pray daily. Pray to the Lord. And pray for others, love one another, forgive one another, repent from your sins, and stay focused on Jesus. Alright guys, let me go ahead and start this other one here. I'm going to start this other one here, guys. Scripture tells you they're going to do that. If you were real studied, you'd know the famine is coming. When? Now? Now. It's happening now. And what is a great deception or delusion that could even confuse and deceive the very elect? Do you see what is happening? You have those who are somewhat studied, and you have the old timers that are really in there, and they know because they used to read it every day. And they see the changes in the words. Oh, we say Berenstain Bears can change. That's just a kid's book. But it's still ink on paper made with the same stuff. You see, you can see the movies change. You can see metal logos on Volvo or on your Volkswagen or wherever these changes that everybody seems to say that they see happening. He says those that have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof from such turn away. You see, the problem is the things that are taking place right now are on such a supernatural level. It's in that area of the unseen. Things that really are. You believe Christ can walk on the water. You believe he's going to resurrect the dead. But you have no conception or belief that anything around you can magically change. Because that's not the way you've been raised. Especially in the Western world. Because you have faith and trust. He's going to preserve his word. Yes! His name is the Word of God. And Yeshua was raised even from the dead. Sits at the right hand of the Father. Maybe standing at this point. And He is preserved forever. God does not change. God cannot change. God will not change. It is impossible for God to tell a lie. Oh. That's in your scripture. Alright guys, stay tuned, check out, see if I do a part 4 video, I'm not sure yet, on this uh, 
the Great Deception Bible Mandela Effect Bible Change, uh, not Bible Changes. Uh, this may be the last one on it for a little bit on the Bible Changes. I'm, I'll always try to talk about the Bible Changes and do some more on the Bible Changes soon. But there probably may be a part four to it because I didn't get to put all the video in, videos into it or parts of videos. I right, love you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.